Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Siberia 3. Um, I actually... You're going to love this. I got my controller working. It's, it's really funny. Would you like to know this, the, what was actually breaking the controller? Because it made me laugh when I worked it out. Turns out, when you have a flight stick, a joystick, that's plugged in... Uh, my computer thought that that was the controller every time, not necessarily this. So even though this was on, the 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 joystick took precedence and was like was actually the thing that was in control, not the controller. Fun. I found it out when I was trying to get Elden Ring to work and it wasn't working. <laughs> like wait, what, what? What's going on? But either way, um, we in the last stream, which was two weeks ago, because I missed last Saturday, which I must apologize for. I was unwell again. And we got up the... I was going to say tram. It wasn't called a tram. We went up there, and we're going back into the hospital here to get Kirk his prosthetic and to try and get him to leave. Uh, I'm going to try and use the controller for a while, because I think the game might actually play better. Ah, that's it, the funicular. Hopefully we can get some sound. Everything seems really quiet. Here we go. I am enjoying Elden Ring. Ooh, painting mentors. What are the miniatures, Blobby? Which ones? I tried the multiplayer. The American comes, oh. Colonel. If she's actually mad enough to try and save her nomad friend, neutralize her without violence. We must send her to American Justice in one piece, if possible. And American Justice. Young nomad. Olga Efimova is on it. I've met a lot of people in my life as a soldier, Colonel. I've seen things. And, Sergeant? Dr. Efimova oh gives me the shivers. Indeed, me too, soldier. Oh, no. Me too. Oh, no. Okay, what I was about to say is, is it too loud? Because I've still got it on Elden Ring volume, which is a lot louder than... I normally have it on. Which boss are you stuck on, Fedora? Is it the one in the castle? Because it took me freaking hours to get past that guy. A bit. Okay, I'll turn it down again. Uh, it took me flipping hours to get past that one. Uh, I'm playing on both. <laughs> I have... <laughs> I have the PlayStation 5 copy here. And I have the... Uh, I have, and David bought it on the PC. For me. But uh, the PS5 version is running better than the PC version by like far. Currently repainting my Inquisitor. Ooh, hello. I'm painting a War Master Titan. Oh, I think that'd be better if that was a 40k one because they're huge. Is that volume better? Well, I think the colors correspond to buttons. So if I press Y, can't leave while they're still there. As for taking them on. A dragon dude? What dragon dude is that? I think we may have gone different ways. <laughs> oh, you're further ahead than I am. I haven't played as much as I'd like. How do I get out of here then? I need to I need to use something to get past them? Wait, what did she say? Can't leave while they're still there. As for taking them on. Do I still have my knife? Huh? Oh, no, that, no, oh no. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Not a chance. No way. Hmm. Hello, David. Yes, that's the that's the place that I got to. I haven't got any further than that. I I beat him, but then I haven't gone back to beat him. Uh, I. I don't know what they want me to do. Hello, Len. Like, I can press back, and I think that just puts me back outside. <laughs> X equals Rambo. I wish. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I 
mean, if I get there, uh, Fedora, I could, I could give you a hand. The multiplayer, I was playing multiplayer with Trig today. Um, so much better than it is in any of the other Souls games. You could just make humanities. Humanities, they're not actually humanities, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Can I walk around the back of the... No. I, I, am, I am doing well. I am currently... I have no idea what I'm trying to do here. Not a good... It's not a good way of starting this, to be honest. I wonder if I'm missing something. These are the worst guards ever. Watch the front door. I'm not lost, I, ju I just don't know, um, I don't know what I need to do, and my brain isn't working to a full capacity today. Yeah, sweet fellow, I can, I can hear you up, I think I can, I can get to you through Lens, Lens server, I believe. Am I missing something here? Can I use this beverage? This is what she gave me to help me get in here, but I don't know how using this is going to help me. Get past the soldiers is my objective. It's not going to be one. It's, it's going to be an item, but I, I literally I don't have any items. Um. Can't leave while they're still there. As for taking them on. Don't know. I'm just going to look it up because I really cannot be bothered today. Because if I need to go get something, I'm not going to waste my time here. God frickin' damn it. I have tried everything already. It's actually surprisingly obvious, I just didn't think about it. Gonna go check the check the helicopter for a machine gun or something. I don't know. I just went the helicopter. I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know I could go around here. A military device. Sarah was right. I feel slightly cheated. Not gonna lie. I should have thought. I should have thought about this. Oh, what's this? Judging by the equipment in there, those soldiers aren't joking around. I'm, I mean, a hand grenade would definitely solve this problem. This. Take this, Kate Walker. Take the hand grenade. Oh, my mouse is on the screen. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Let's just get you down in the corner. Oh, wait. The mouse is the hand. That's why. Ooh, that's going to be painful for Doro. Have you worked out? Can you not just get a random summon? It took me a while to work out how the summons actually work. Can I take this magazine? Can I have the gun for said magazine? What about this pistol? Can I use this? What's that? Oh, that's a can of sardines, of course. Machine gun bullets. A medical kit. What am I looking for? A singular bullet. It's gotta be the hand grenade, right? Oh, no, it's the walkie-talkie out of all things, Kate. You think a walkie-talkie is going to solve this problem? The holy hand grenade. You pull the pin and count to ten. Oh. Oh, um, okay, so it kind of works the same as all the other Dark Souls games, except you will only see signs when you have used the, um, the compass thing. I can't remember what it's actually called, but it looks like a compass. The guy in the church sells one. Or you can make them from two Erd leaves in your crafting kit. And once you use that, you will see signs. It doesn't really explain that anywhere. 
But that's how it works. So it's like a humanity. If you die, it wears off sort of thing, but I think it also opens you up to invasions, of course. I just realised my chat isn't on, so if anyone's actually like watching this on YouTube, they're going, what is he talking about? I'm talking about Elden Ring. <laughs> right, we're going to call them. I turn the chat on? I probably should turn the chat on, right? Just so I don't look like an absolute nutter turn it talking to myself. More so than normal, anyway. That's fine, I don't mind talking about Elden Ring. I, I, honestly, I, I haven't played it as much as a lot of people. Let's call it in. This is Dr. Olga Efimova. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> What's wrong, Olga? The Americans here. Uh, there's a riot upstairs. Oh no, guys, what do you think's the best option here? I'm listening, Olga. Over. X, the Americans here. Helmut thinks he saw the American lurking Helmut. in the city. <laughs> You have to stop her as soon as you can. Is that idiot psychiatrist really sure? I'm sure we would have seen Kate Walker enter the clinic. Colonel, if you'd rather run the risk of letting that cow run free, it's up to you. I hope you're not disturbing us for nothing, Olga Efimova. Apparently we do a really good Olga impression. That's impressive. No, YouTube, you have to believe me. I'm not actually insane. People do actually come here. Achievement unlocked, Colonel. Are you receiving me? Over. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. Can I point out the game plays so much nicer with a freaking controller <laughs> so far? What on earth happened here? Um, a cart fell over, Kate. Uh, we all know that Kate is a woman of many talents. Miss yes, Walker, she... <laughs> come quickly. She did call herself a cow. Are we about to get tricked? Please don't fall for this. Oh, okay. Dr. Zamiatine, but what's going on? Oh no, it's the man from the shop. It's Olga. She has brought her soldier friends into the clinic. Just after Steiner fitted Kirk's prosthesis. Then the soldiers wanted to stop them from leaving. Steiner refused to listen to them. He kicked up a fuss. So they worked him over. My friend had an attack. Miss Walker. They beat up an old guy. I'm here, <laughs> Mr. Steiner. You have to save young Kirk. That woman, Olga, she's a real monster, you know. Your enemy and that, Colonel. Protect the Yukols from those criminals. Make sure they get to their destination. You can count on me, Mr. Steiner. This is a super emotional moment. Super emotional What's music. Wrong? Hide! Uh, what should we go with here? Save my automation daughter, please. Hurry, Miss Walker. Um, we'll ask it, will he be alright? Steiner, are you alright? With a bit of rest, some medication, and a little luck, yes. But please, now. You really must hurry and help young Kirk, Miss Walker. My dear Miss Walker. It sounded like text-to-speech. The heart, you know, it's in very good condition. It contains a lot of essential data from an XZ-2000 automaton. Everything as it were. You understand, on that particular model, the heart and intelligence were intermingled. So then, 
it wouldn't take all that much for you to get your friend Oscar back one day. That's mighty convenient. I... Yes, Mr. Steiner. Of course. I'll remember. You know, when we, we didn't pick that up in number two, I feel like if we picked it up in number two, I'd have much more, like, connection to this moment, but... I feel like they shoehorned it in just for a, an excuse for the story that's be, that's like playing. Not that I'm complaining. I'd love to get Oscar back. Oscar was like my favorite character. I couldn't tell you why. I just felt a connection. Housekeeping. Is a, is anyone in here? I don't know if I'm supposed... I think I'm supposed to be going to Olga's office, right? This is Olga's office. Sweet. <gasps> Kirk! Kirk. Um, oh, he's got his prosthetic. I mean, he's been hypnotized though, right? I read that as toothpaste. Are we, are we about to pick a lock with a paperclip? Are we actually about to do this? Completely fascinated. Oh, Kirk. If you can hear me, please just listen to me. Your tribe needs you. The migration can't happen without you. Can I just smash it? <sighs> it's hopeless. I mean, breaking somebody out of hypnosis forcefully is usually a bad idea. Ooh, hello. You know what solves problems like no this. Chance. Oh. It doesn't work. <laughs> okay. That's one way of doing it. We're just going to jam all of the uh, drive... Uh, drive? Not wheels. The thing that goes on the drive wheels. With a paperclip. So we are in fact not... Uh, picking a lot. No point drugging Kirk even more. Oh. Well, can I take it? What have I what have I achieved here? Ah The beverage, we're gonna inject it into his veins. Who needs to drink it through the mouth when you can put it in the veins? Don't do this at home, kids. I'm blocking the thing. What? I mean I'm blocking the thing. I would like to close the thing at the top, but I can't, so I'm going to have to use my mouse because I literally can't get the thing to go there. There we go. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, so we're blocking the hypnosis thing with the pin. Yes. Kate. Kate Walker? What on earth are you doing here? I'm still strapped to a chair. I'll explain later, Kirk. We have to get back to the tribe right away. They're waiting for us to cross the lake. Yeah, I mean... I... <sighs> Injecting yourself directly? Uh, not the smartest move. Not gonna lie. I can't remove these restraints with just my hands. Oh. How am I supposed to... There's a to... compartment down along the side of the bed. The staff handled it each time they released me. Alongside the bed? <laughs> What bed? There's a note stuck underneath. What? What did I just pick up? Oh, the bed is the chair? Oh, now you mention it. That does kind of make sense, doesn't it? A note from Mr. Mal Yong or... Something. I think it was Mal Yong. Oh, that 
Banshee Olga took the time to tear up the code, of course. <laughs> Dr. H. Mangoling. Ah, psychiatrist, neurosurgeon, psychiatry. Balsambor Clinic, date something. Madam Olga, in accordance with your instructions, I have sent you our young nomad patient. If you should happen to need to remove him from the mechanical therapeutic device, the code is... The code is redacted. Because of course it bloody is. Okay. Oh, so if we think the bed is the chair, let's go back over there and have a look. Yeah. This. Shit. Uh, um... Oh five, oh nine, oh nine, maybe. Oh, that banshee Olga took the time to tear up the code. The fact of that it's torn means it might be somewhere, maybe. Well, it's got to be, hasn't it? We can't just guess. Uh, so, who would have access to the code? TPLM. I don't see any numbers on that thing. <laughs> Boobs! 69420! I doubt it. Where could it be? He's got to be in this room. Wait, can I just check her bin? Sounds a bit daft, but you know. Wait, what was the other thing we picked up? Oh, my bad. Olga's statuette. What am I supposed to do with this? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well we can't leave. Let's talk to Kirk, see if he has any ideas. It's it's a statue, it's fine. Maybe you could try to find something in the room, Kate Walker. Some clue or other. Yeah, so it's definitely in this room somewhere. Is it the sword thing? I wouldn't have thought it'd be the sword again. The sword was like for the secret exit, wasn't it? I really like that picture. Um, I feel like it's going to be related to the chair, but... Let's go have a look. Possible it's off screen in one of these other screens, which is something I keep forgetting I can do. I can move the camera around, can't I? I'm gonna go with hard no on that idea. Check your pockets? I mean, short of, um... Smashing a screen with a squid. I can't even believe that was the solution to the problem. Uh oh. Kirk, run! Oh, it's Moo! Get them. Get them. Yes, get them. Uh oh. Uh oh, I can see myself twice. Oh no! I got. Okay, it's fine. Hello, Moo. Oh, hello, Tuna. Thank you very much for the free subscription there. You all know Moo. If you don't know Moo, go follow Moo. How was Isaac? Did you win in the end? 
We're being chased by soldiers. Yeah, imagine not knowing, Mo. Good lord. Hey. Yeah, this game's still weird as hell. Did you see how fast I can run on my new leg? <laughs> yes, Simon Steiner is definitely a genius craftsman. It's a fully grown man. It's a yokai. Are we being pulled back up there? Are we having a fight? Yeah, if it, if it goes too far in one direction, the world actually ends. Uh-oh. I never did like this house anyway. Kate, you are a bloody menace. You are an absolute bloody menace. Oh, well, it's already broken, isn't it? You might as well smash the window. I mean, this music is ridiculously calm because then we've just trashed a house, written off the fununcular, and ran back to our boat. Kate! <laughs> Wait, really, Fedora? Hey, get on the boat! I still love this lady. Look at that outfit. Did you find him? Isn't he with you now? Your grandfather had another attack, I'm afraid. But Dr. Samyatine stayed alive. He's so loud. He's, after him. He's got a good chance of making it this time, too. Okay, move. Have a nice dinner. Make sure it's pizza. We have to go. I have to go, Sarah. Thanks for everything you and your grandfather have done for us. No, but thank you, Kate. Here, please take the scarf. So that you will remember. Oh, hell yeah. That's magnificent. Thank you, Sarah. Goodbye, Kate Walker. Oh, hell yeah. We're actually wearing the scarf. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> you have underestimated <laughs> that woman, Dr. Olga Ethimova. I don't know why that made me laugh, but it did. <laughs> but the game isn't over yet, Colonel. Indeed, and we are going to change the rules as well. Wait, when did you put the pizza in? Did I remind you by saying pizza? Fire the cruise missiles! <laughs> Wait, hang on. They had a helicopter that had rocket pods on it. They could probably take out the crystal relatively easily. Wait, I thought you stopped drinking. Oh. Really? Alcohol at the helm? I'm not sure drinking at the helm is a great idea, Captain. It's not a great idea to go sailing off into these waters at the Lake Spirit's mealtime either. In fact, it's completely insane. Captain, please don't start talking again about that so-called monster. It's him! It's the lake monster! Oh my god! Not at all, Captain. Look outside. You just crashed the frickin' boat. Because you're drunk. Just what we needed. We can't go around? That will take us off the route for Nahodak. We have an ice we thing on the front. Far too much time. We'd be better off trying to use the crystal's breakers to get through the ice instead. Go on down into the machine room and try to start them up. I'm going to go on an assumption and say that this isn't going to work, but let's ask about the ice breakers. The breakers? What are they? Well, just like the name says, they break the ice. That's what let us operate as a ferry to the amusement park in Bass for that one. Even when the lake was completely frozen. 
good old days. Okay, where is this machine room? When I get down to the machine room, what do I do? Turn on the breakers, lower them down to the ice, and make sure you adjust the power. If you need any help, I can guide you from up here. Can't you go and do this, given that you know how to do it? Take it easy on the bottle while I'm in the machine room, please. I'm counting on you. What on earth? Go and turn on the damn breakers for me now, instead of preaching the good word. All right, I'm going. <laughs> and on the double, please. Because if we stay stuck like this, we're just like a worm wriggling about on the end of a hook for that monster lurking below us. What, the one that's under the ice? As big as you say it is, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> the alcohol spirit, ally to all captains. I like that. I think the machine room is down here. Yeah, it was down here, wasn't it? I love this scarf. Oh, hello. Yukol matches. Hang on a minute. Where are the Yukols? Aren't we supposed to be? Did, weren't we supposed to pick them up? Oh, we're going now, aren't we? Something was on that match. Oh wow! I actually have the scarf in my inventory. My old scarf. It's hard to get rid of after everything we've been through together. Didn't we just get this? Oh, is that her old scarf? Okay, no, okay, you make sense. That does make sense, right, observe it. This has something on it. Oh, wow, they are literally... Who puts... What sadistic ass puts thorns on, the, on their matches? I thought that maybe that little drawing there was... Uh, meant something, but I don't think it does. Where's Kirk? I don't know. You'd have thought they'd be here, but... Mm, let's see if we can set off this icebreaker. Oh. Well, there's one of the Yukols. Hello. Crystal Nanook Metal. Oh, so they hand carved thorns? Oh, do you mean it's like splinters of wood? Alright, this looks important. I have genuinely no idea what this actually does. So, let's leave it on zero. Let's spin the wheel wheelie magig. Let's pop the button. Okay, we're in, we're in the red. What's this do? Ooh. I assume you want to have it on a flat surface, right? And let's put it to one. Okay, it's in the green. Use the what's me do on the thing, magic. Tuk tuk. Can't make the boat go for. Mm. Two, maybe? Captain! Can I talk to the captain? Okay, so now that, that definitely is the, like, the crankshaft. Um... Can I, hmm, can I use anything over here? No. I thought that might be, like, a talk to captain button. Look, I don't quite understand what he wants me to do here. Let's just put it down like that. There you go. I'm gonna go tell the captain it's working. Good. Oh, wait, it's not in the red. It's in the red now. What have I done? Let's go speak to the captain. I think that's it, surely. He said he could help me from up there, though.
I kind of expected there to be a um, communications port or something. <laughs> to see you, Carl, spinning into the gears. It's a very impressive uh, ice breaking mechanism. I'll give it a minute. I think I need to do something else, but I, I am just going to... Oh. oh, wow. We... <laughs> Okay, we have them shoveling coal now, apparently. Ma, to do look, knock knock. Tuk tuk. It was Hans. Uh, wait, it wasn't Hans that made the boat, was it? It was the man in the hospital who made the boat. Hans just kind of helped. Because he had the model, didn't he, in his... Uh... No, no, no! It's, do it's doing it again! It's doing it again, guys. I'm having a fight with the staircase. This way. There we go. Captain, I don't know if it's working or not. Maybe they made it together? I don't know. They knew each other, but I, I can't remember, to be honest. I thought the uh, that guy. Um, I guess it makes sense because they worked together to make the automatons they put on them. Stir your stumps and go activate those breakers in the machine room, sailor. They're on. Okay, well, obviously I'm missing something. <laughs> oh, that's a new cause. I know they knew each other, but it's like, what bits they did, I don't know, no idea. Man, <laughs> boat lovers. Am I missing a control here? I don't understand what I'm supposed to, I'm just going to put it in three and hope for the best. Full speed! Get it to go in the green on one. Okay, this is where the controller starts to get on my nerves because clicking between the buttons is hard. Now it's in the green. But now what? This is what I don't. What am I supposed to be freaking doing here? It is turned on. Oh, there is steam flying out of it. Cabin. Ah, here we go. What is it, Captain? Why on earth are the breakers still not working yet? It's the mechanism. It keeps stalling. You need to be a lot faster with the gears. Once in third, make sure you change to second really quickly. What's in third? Wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go back to the... Let's go back to the controller. It has to be in the green, but it's working out... case of the controls are just nasty when they're trying to make you do things quickly. It's 
like... Every time I want to light this game, it does something like this, and it just drives me up the wall. And I just want to move. <laughs> ah! That's what I'm doing. I genuinely have no idea. You, um, in conventionally, you would go from 1 to 3, not 3 to 1. So I don't really quite understand what's going on. It's in the green now, but it's not doing anything. So do I, am I supposed to make this go all the way down? Then to compensate, go into second gear. Okay, I think I might actually be onto something here. Excuse me, go down to the... Go... Go down to the button! There we go. Uh, let me move this to here. That working? It's working! It's not working, is it? Not working. Okay, now it's working. Now it's not working. You know what, guys? I really don't like playing Siberia 3. <laughs> it is so bad. I'm just, I'm looking this up because I honestly cannot be bothered. See, this is what it said. This whole game is just turning into me just being, I cannot be asked to try and work things out because it just, the controls make everything such a pain. You'll have to do it in the right order and it will have to be smooth. So doing it smoothly when you're constantly tripping over the controls, it's just not easy. Yeah, so... Nope, too slow. You are indeed correct, I have to go from 3 down to 1, apparently, for some unknown, explicable reason. Unexplained reason. Whilst also trying to contend with what I can only describe as one of the world's worst control schemes. Nope, down into second. Nope, and it tripped. Uh, nah. I have to get past it, but this is just... I'm going to watch a YouTube video because I literally cannot work out what I'm supposed to be doing right now. And it's very sad when you can't work out what you're supposed to do. Yeah, they connected the thing. They pressed the button, like I do. Maybe it's because I moved this lever and I'm not supposed to yet? They made it look so easy. I'm so upset.
Yeah. It's like you start in one, you go to three, and then you go to two. I just... No. I thought one was going to be where we ended it, not two. Uh, hopefully that's the end of the silly puzzles. Wait, what? He wasn't full of shit? Uh-oh. That looked like the Kraken, guys. There! Job well done. Good work, Captain. How long before we get to Nowadesk? It'll be in just a few more hours, Boston. Another iceberg? No. This time it came from the stern. Stuck. Good lord. Go and see what's holding us up and report right back fast. Well, I think it might be a giant squid, but I'll double check. The cutscene kind of led me to believe that there may in fact be a squid. Cthulhu is finally here. Oh, wait, can I... Can I sit on this? Oh, wait, hang on, what's this? It's a lockbox. Has it got a shotgun in it? Oh, it's got a... It's got a Flag gun? Flare? Yeah, emergency flare. I don't know what I need this for, but hey! I'm sure it'll come in handy. I said that the captain was stupid because couldn't, there couldn't possibly be such a thing as a, as a monster like this. Take it all back. Try to start the engines back up and get us out of here. Good luck, Boson. Question: What of running lights? Oh, should destroy the lights on the bridge. Okay, uh, I'm going. Sharpish. Sharpish. Run, 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 run. To the bridge. To the bridge. Um. I'm not entirely sure which lights they're talking about here, but we'll find out, I guess. Hi. Where are your lights? Is this going to be one of those ones where they don't actually want me to go to the bridge? <sighs> it is, isn't it? <sighs> where do you want me to go, game? Can I guess it's the big lights on the side of the boat? Do I? Yeah, it is, it is the big lights on the side of the boats. Do you know the ones that aren't on the bridge? I don't know why they say they're on the bridge. This game confuses me sometimes. Okay, smashy, smashy. Able to break it barehanded. Oh. Oh, do you remember that? Do you remember that time we found the... Um, we found that thing on the crate, and I was like, that's going to be really important one day. Somebody remember that's on the crate. i got to go find it. 
It was like a crowbar or something. I think it was on the other side. On this crate over here, maybe? Yeah, there it is. You belong to me now. Huzzah! Let's go break some stuff. Smashy, smashy. So, if we knew that the monster didn't like these bright lights, why are we? Why do we leave them on? I also feel like we're going to get arrested for not having running lights. You know, because I think there's probably some sort of law about operating a boat without running lights. There's a bloody law for everything else. Oh, thanks. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> and now she has glass in her eyeballs. Back, back, this way. There we go. That's a valid point, actually. Here is a valid point. The police are already looking after us. Well, the, those weird mercenary people are looking after, after us. After us? No, they're looking out for us for some unknown reason. Or I suppose they just hate the Yukols and we're just in the way. That seems reasonable. I think they just want us out of the way because we're causing them trouble. Smashy, smashy! Are that not all of them? Guess not. There's some on the front of the boat? Feels like a terrible idea. Yeah, suck on this. Are you? Oh, are you gonna throw that? I hope you're gonna throw that. <laughs> Just hold it in your hand. You like bright lights? We're free, Captain. Feel free to drive away. Checking there's some on the back of the boat, too. I think something's going to happen the moment we smash everything. Ooh, I'm stuck. I think my favourite character is this Yukon that's just running around in circles, because that would be me in this situation. I would just be like, ah, ah, Help me! Please! I don't want to die. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Mashy, smashy. Is that it? Yeah, she dropped the thing. And now it's just like, yeah, nothing here now. Victory! We did it, Captain! Yes, I think. Hmm, solid shit. Oh, yes, we're in trouble. Oh, God. yes. That bastard is taking us straight to the bottom. I thought if we destroyed the running lights, we'd get away. Me too, actually. Now we have to try and see if we can come up with something else. What do you suggest? Detach the thing the on the back. Sound must be what's drawing it to us still. I'll go get the next part ready. What next part? Don't worry about that. Just get a move on. Hurry! Okay, gotta go cut the engines. I'm sure I can work that out, right? Do we reckon we do that from the bridge, or do you reckon we do that from the engine room? I'm gonna go with bridge first. Okay, please. Clamp, clamp. There we go. He's dead and off button. Help. 
Okay, engine room it is. Because I can't interrupt them. I don't think the squid's going to drag us where we need to go somehow. Oh, I'm sure it might work out like that, but it won't be uh, intentional, I'm sure. Where is the off button for the engines? You kind of failed to tell me this bit. You surely when it runs out of... Is that a coal that's going to stop working, right? I'm starting to realise I haven't the foggiest idea how to turn this place, how to turn this engine off. <sighs> Is it over in this bit over here, maybe? Nope. Maybe it is on the bridge and I was just blind? Because I'm struggling again to find where I need to go. I just ah, this game. Or is there something else about driving a boat that I don't know? I can't break everything. I need to find what I need to press. And if I have to Google this again. I'm going to be incredibly unhappy with this game. Because it is not. It is not making this easy. Like, how do I turn... Just saying, turn off the engines with literally zero direction is... I don't know how to drive a freaking boat. At least the shotgun's gone. Do I have to do it outside? Maybe there's a, an off button on the outside of the boat that we don't know about. Because logically, it would be the engine room. But I've walked around the engine room and I can't see any buttons there. It'll sink us if I don't stop the motors as soon as possible. Oh, thanks, Kate. That that really mo that motivates me. That does you. Know? Maybe if I choke the engines or something. Oh, I'm gonna go back down to the engine room. And then if I don't see anything again, I'm just going to have to look it up again. This is becoming one of the worst playthroughs of a game I've ever done. See ya, blah. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, no. I'm going up the stairs, apparently. The problem, the problem is, if it was once in a while, it wouldn't bother me. But it's been three times I can't work out what I'm supposed to do in rapid succession. And it's really starting to grate on me now. Really? Hello, I went upstairs and ended right on the bottom again. Apparently, there's a lever on a catwalk. Maybe it's by the, maybe it's just over here by the icebreakery stuff. It's the only place I didn't look. Up the stairs, Kate. There we go. There you go. There go the motors. Let's hope the monster will leave us alone now. Go back to Captain Obo. The problem I'm having with a lot of the puzzles in, in Siberia, and I use the term puzzle very loosely, is that in Siberia 1 and 2, if you just thought about the problem, you could you could work it out most of the time, the clock being the only one that made me go, God damn it. In like two games. Having one thing that makes me go goddammit is a hell of a lot better than what's happening in this one. <laughs> it's just like every other puzzle. Oh my goddammit. Come on. Maybe my brain's just not working. I'm probably just not in the right uh, frame of mind for playing Siberia, which is kind of my own fault. 
But uh, I, I prefer... Oh, wait, where is Oboe? Wait, where is the captain? Is he outside? I, I preferred the way Siberia did it. Not... Uh, Siberia 1 and 2 did it. Not the way Siberia 3 is doing it. Because it just comes across as clunky and broken. Most of the time. That's probably because most of the time it is clunky and broken. He does play better with the controller, I will say that much, but even then I still have problems. Are we just like ditching the- are we just ditching? Because I'm down for this. <laughs> oh! Captain! He's gonna what set off a, a sound trap on the boat. A diversion for the monster. What kind of diversion? What are you talking about? We're going to have to convert this light bulb into floating bait, then drop it down into the water. That should draw the beast's attention away from the crystal. I'll go and fix the gramophone, and you go get the light. Hurry! Bring the captain a light source. Wow, boy, sure wish I didn't smash everything. Um... Any ideas where we get a light source from? I mean, we have a pack of matches. Maybe that's going to be something. We, th we used the flare to uh, distract the monster away from one of the lights. So, unless there's another flare in the box, which I don't think there is. What do we have? Scarf and a box of matches. Um. Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Something just came up on the screen then when I was... If I tear it off, it'll be useless. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> so it's not the emergency lights. Has he got a book of Moby Dick? No time to read. No, I want to burn the books. Great timing. Something's wrong. Uh. This where he keeps his uh, his booze stash. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so we, I think we're gonna make like a torch. Incorrigible. Using vodka matches. We need a rag. Extra strong vod. Oh, my scarf. We can make a Molotov. <laughs> is that... Is that what we're supposed to do? I don't know. I don't, somehow, I don't think so. We... Drink the vodka. We have good time. <laughs> we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. But at least I'm drunk. Just gonna double check there is nothing up here. This guy knows how I feel. Help! Help me! Help! Alright. There's a good thing that woman gave me a new scarf if I do have to make some sort of Molotov. I'm gonna take what I found to the captain and see if it comes up. Because you can't combine things on in your inventory. So I don't know. No, I need a light that can work on its own. Captain, I found a Molotov. God's sake. Okay, we need something else. We're missing something. We're missing something. Maybe something in it off, it'll be useless. the machine shop. Machine shop. It's not the word I was after, but it'll work now. Excuse me. I, I, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, that's what I mean. There's a, there's a workbench. Down below. That is where I am going. Whether we can actually combine at the workbench, I don't know. Because it's never been a thing before. Ah ha ha ha! The fuel inlet. But what can I use? Oh, it's a lantern! Okay. It doesn't work. No way. Putting P 
pure vodka into a, a fuel lantern? I'm not sure this would end well. I mean, it, it would work temporarily, I guess. It wouldn't be very good for the lamp, I don't think. I don't know, it depends how, how what proof it is. I guess if it's extra strong, it's going to be quite high proof. So it'd probably be fine. Yeah, I was kind of expecting more tunnels. I need fire to light it with. I need fire. Good thing I found these matches. Well, that is not a safety match. <laughs> Kate drops the match and sets fire to the ship. I'd like to pick that up with my controller. Oh, 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 wait. No, I had it for a second there, but I've lost it again. Hang on. Can I keep this? I feel like this could be very useful. It'll be chaos here soon. I have to hurry. I found a Yukos. I found them. They're in that room there, that locked room. That's what we keep them in the locked room. It's actually padlocked from this side, if you look carefully. Uh, oh, I can't get I can't get the camera angle, but there's, there's, there was a padlock on there. It is. Look, you look really carefully. There's a padlock there. So we've actually locked them in. I don't know. That seems like a bad way to treat your guests, but maybe that's just me, huh? Oh no, I'm going up and down the stairs again. Oh, come on, Kate. Oh no, you have to fully leave the stairs. You have to step back onto the stairs. And you have to walk up. There we go. I just have to be slower when I use the staircases because this game is just really, really picky. Right, where was the captain? He was outside, wasn't he? So let's take him the lantern. It's the hired help. We, just, we don't pay them anything. We lock them up. Oh, he's in the other lifeboat. Sorry, wrong side. Oh yes, I do. It's the wrong current. The lifeboat won't move away from the ship. My God, I've been waiting for this for 20 years. Farewell, Kate. I know you'll get the pit sweeps there safe and sound. I don't suppose you want to tell me how to uh, pilot the boat. You hear me, you bastard? 20 years! 20 years! So come on, now! It's time to settle things once and for all. Come on! Come on, get some! Come on, monster! It's Captain Almost speaking to you! Scared of what? Redemption! What a hero! Look at him go! Bet you wish you still had that shotgun! The sea just ate him. The sea literally just ate him. He's been gone. Kate Walker. There. That's Kirk. Ah, oh, son of a. Kate has the worst luck. Like, I, I, what kind of human being could possibly be caught in such a thing here? The scriptwriter's nightmare yes. achievement. Miss Kate, the Walker, better. Yes, I think. <laughs> Are we at now dusk? Uh, Miss Kate Walker should talk to Kirk. 
Him in front part of board. Uh, if oh, if he does come back in the next game, I'm gonna be so happy. He killed uh, the Kraken. Of course, there had to be an abandoned amusement park. They talked about Kirk. it in the last episode. What's going on? Made it. Run! Radiation! No. Baranur, but... The monster's attack knocked us off course. Then we ran aground here. That sign of the spirits. They want to be sure Yukul Caravan follow sacred path like always. Migration must I continue. I love the new music in the carnival. Spirits show right route. <laughs> it's one of my favorites, the fight in the carnival, Before the boss fight. Before we even think of getting on the road again, we need to figure out how much radiation there is around here. If we get exposed to too much, none of us will see the end of this journey. That's not the only problem, Kate Walker. We ran aground opposite the beach, and the ostriches are stuck in the hold. We have to move the crystal forward before we can open the doors. Oh, crap. We'll take care of that as soon as I found a way to measure the radioactivity here. Until then, nobody is to leave the crystal. Yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck the ostriches. They can just die. So we need a Geiger counter or a... I can't remember what the, You can get those, like, personal things that make really big beeping noises when you go close. I think it's, it's not called a Geiger counter. It has its own name. Oh man, oh, no, Nier Automata is one of my favourite games of all time. I actually adore that game. It is brilliant. It is a masterpiece. In my mind. Some people don't like it, obviously, but you know. Prime honor, great memory of being Captain Talk Too Loud. For always. <laughs> Captain Talk Too Loud. What a way to be remembered. Do we reckon we have a Geiger counter on board the boat? Yes, like the little the little um, tabs that go red when you've received uh, too much of a dose of radiation. Hello? Captain sacrificed for Miss Ketwalk and tribe. Oh, look at the little guy. Hmm. I don't think I can get off the boat, which makes me think that whatever I'm looking for is on the boat somewhere. Well, maybe I can get off the boat and I'm just being stupid, but let's... Let's go check the captain's quarters. GameCube vibes, yeah, 100%. Uh, the, the camera angles are one of the things that kind of make this game very hard to play. Because uh, the controls don't really follow through, so you end up going backwards and up and down staircases all the time. Do you have a Geiger counter? What, so is that so somebody can't steal my boat? I mean, I guess, fair enough. I wouldn't want those pesky yukos leaving without me. What happens if they break the lock on the door in the engine room? They might leave me behind. Not anymore. Because I have the key. Valid point. <laughs> Remember the train, that time where two random locals stole our train. Oh yeah, there are there are there are new raids in Fallout. Fallout? No. Final Fantasy 14. I am my brain is dying. Today may be a shorter stream than normal. I may do two hours instead of three hours, because I can feel myself falling apart. <laughs> Uh, what's wrong with the day? Hello, do you have a Geiger counter? Just gotta make sure the captives haven't escaped. No, no, they're fine. They're fine. Everybody's fine. See? Phew. Phew. 
Do you have a Geiger counter? Okay, I, I'm getting to the, coming to the conclusion the Geiger counter is not on the ship. Maybe there is a way off the boat. Mm, I don't think I would ever play balloons. Uh, that is not the kind of game I play. I know I'm in trouble because I'm struggling with things that are as basic as what I'm trying to do right now. Not the best state to try and play a game like this. Hello, does any of you have a freaking Geiger count? Oh, wait. What's this? Is this the Geiger count thermometer thing? What is... Radiation goggles. That's not a Geiger counter. Um. Pull the arm. Oh, wait, wait. This is why I stole the key. Look, I knew this was going to happen, guys. Of course they're not just a Geiger counter, it's Geiger goggles! Oh, this is the height of fashion. Let's go. I can't believe I walked around the entire ship and it was literally right behind me. Oh wow, they actually look really cool. I'd wear those. Looks perfectly fine. Look at me, I look cool. Look at my shades. Check me out. Um, now what? Find a way to pull the crystal from the sand. Okay. Is that off or on the boat? I think, the I think the game has actually just given up. Oh, it looks like I can go leave here. And the game has actually given up trying to tell me where to go, and it just it just kind of goes, eh. This is your goal, I'll work it out. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it's always done that, hasn't it? I'm guessing there's going to be some kind of crane down here, maybe? No more power. Okay. No more power. No more power. Well, I see power conduits on the ship. I may be able to tow the crystal using this tractor. I just have to get to it first. Okay, okay. Isotopic yields lose 99% of their radiation 48 hours after destination. Um, do they? There might be hydrogen bombs or something like that. I know nuclear bombs are bad. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know anything. I haven't, like, stayed up to date with uh, modern weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> uh, personally, I think all nuclear weapons should be um, removed no power. from the world. It's just one of those things where they're just not needed. If humans want to kill each other, do it the old-fashioned way. Those, those things are too... Too efficient for uh, for humans, I'm afraid. Probably a weird take on it, but you know. Yeah, exactly. Use a club. Tell you what, human beings. It's a lot harder to kill each other when you had to do it with swords, because you actually had to look at the people. 
guns, uh, guns made killing people too easy, and then nuclear bombs made it so you could wipe out an entire frickin' city in one second. At what point was that a good idea? So, I need to get over to the other side, but I wonder how. I wonder how I get over there. Because I didn't see any, like, interaction points. Wish I'd stop getting caught on bits and pieces. What's this? Radiation everywhere around the park. Oh, is it that green fog? Is that the radiation? Okay. Because that's what radiation. I mean, I, wouldn't you have fallen to the ground and it's in the dirt and things? When you don't like real radiation, uh, it's like metal structures. It's like in uh, Plupiat. The children's playing parks are horrendously radioactive because they're all made out of metal and they just absorbed the radiation. Drop the boat down is actually a pretty solid suggestion. Um, don't know how though. It's got to be something to do with off the pier. Looking at how this is going, but what is this? Oh, Captain. Oh, that's the empty boat. Got you. We had to have a moment of re respect and remembrance for the dead captain. I know a surprisingly large amount about radioactivity because I played an awful lot of Stalker. For the record, Stalker 2 is coming out soon. Yes, I am excited. Oh, and I played Metro. Uh, in fact, now I think about it, I've played pretty much every single post-apocalyptic nuclear game there is. That's probably not good, is it? But are we pressing F to pay respects to the dear old captain? There must be something I'm missing here. I feel like I need to plug these in, but I, I can't do anything. Can I talk to this man? Can you help me? Not worrying, please. Me stay close. Can I stand on your shoulders? Funny small holes in hull. Just want to get some air. Funny small holes in hull, thanks. Ah, here we go. Even though I walked right up to these earlier. Electric outlets? Electric outlets? Can I now plug these in? I know I liked Fallout 76. In fact, I really like Fallout no 76. Power. I, um... I got bored of it, that was a problem. I played it too much. And they weren't updating it in a way that I liked very often, so I ended up just getting bored. <laughs> but I... Oh, god damn it. Um, I have heard that it's actually really good now, and at some point I might go back, but it won't be for a while. I'm going to blame the fact that it was brown wood on a brown pier there. Just saying. That and the fact my brain dying. I apologize so much for anyone who's watching this on YouTube. Ooh, let's watch a Niren play Siberia. It's going to be brilliant. And I'm just like, Ugh. Uh, help me. Please. There used to be a brain in this head of mine, but it's gone. What about us? Wait, what about what do you mean, what about us? What about you guys? I mean, you're watching it right now. I'm going to apologize to you guys. You're live. Ooh, a telescopic hook! I think the last, the last content update I played on was when the Brotherhood of Steel built their base. I think that was the last time I played Fallout 76. Anything past that I haven't played. I much preferred Fallout 4, just because... I don't know, I like single player. I just, the single playerness of it just made it better. <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong buttons. What? was... I want to extend the telescopic hook. Can I do that? Am I allowed? Or is it just I have this? Okay, I know I just have this. I'm sure it's going to come in handy at some point. Perfect for grabbing things that are out of reach. Thanks, Kate. There is an automation, but I don't seem to be able to do anything with that guy. There's also ones in the buried in the sand on the beaches.
I'm wondering if I can use the telescopic hook to grab the power cables? Oh look, it's Oscar. Stupid of me. He's dead. Oscar doesn't exist anymore. I know that. And all those automatons look alike. Your medallion. The heart. You know. It's in very good condition. It contains a lot of essential data from an XZ-2000 automaton. Everything as it were. You understand, on that particular model, the heart and intelligence were intermingled. So then, it wouldn't take all that much for you to get your friend Oscar back one day. Maybe if I could... It's got XZ2000 written on it. It's got to be Oscar, look. XZ2000? Oscar's serial number. But we don't have the key to open him up. One of them damn security screws. It doesn't work. That's not right. Not a chance. Okay, so we need to find a key. Locked. Whoops. Guessing Kate didn't bring the key with her, huh? If only I had a brain. I need a brain. Oh, what's a tra why is there a traffic cone on the beach? How did you get here, traffic cone? While I'm here, I'm going to check if I can use the telecos telescopic hook on the power cables. I don't think so, but I'm just while I'm right while I'm standing right here. Let's just double check. No more power. <laughs> no, no more power. This was really hard to see. This ramp. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Right, let's actually go up to the other side of the pier and see if we can turn the tractor on. There was a dot. What do you mean there was a dot? There was a dot on the power cables, it just says no more power. What about that lamp post? What? Are you sure? Of course, it probably is, and I just didn't see it. Ah! Well. That would have fucking took a while. <laughs> oh my god, I never would have seen that. God damn. That's one of those ones. The other ones where you're just walking around for like four hours going, why? Why? Miss why? Catwalk, need some help? Yeah, plug these cables in for me, bud. Yes. Can you connect this cable to the crystal? Maybe that way I'll be able to restore power to the park. No problem. Okay. Thank you so much for your help, Mr. Baruth. If you hear a buzz and a pop, we killed him. Just, just saying. I ain't going anywhere near those cables. They could be live. God, what this kind of idiot do you think I am? When there's something dangerous to do, the key is to always to get somebody else to do it for you. That's how the world works. Fuck, <laughs> that's dark. <laughs> We're going to turn the generator around. You're just going to hear... <laughs> puff of smoke by the, by the ship. Oh, 
on though. I don't know why that's tickled me and I'm not. Maybe I'm just evil. Go into the into the carnival. It's not a carnival. It's not a carnival, it's a carnival. Right? There's just dead top hat robots everywhere. I wanna pick up a top hat. This is the door? Or lead us on to the here with the tractor, but I guess we need key to start it or something, but I'm gonna go check it out just to see what we need. Oh no, this, this isn't. Do you have a key in here? Wait. Oh god damn it. That, we need a key to get into the Let's try something else. Right, not a butter knife. The Vorlberg crest. Hans put it on all of his inventions. <laughs> yeah, you'll just put these wires into here. You'll be fine. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> hmm. 15 plus 25. 5, 40, 25. What is this? 1. Boy, sure hope that isn't important. <laughs> Damn, this was the door I was looking at that was on the pier. Well, I guess we're not going through there, huh? Oh, a cog. It's amazing how in a box full of crap... Kate knows exactly what bit of crap she needs to solve a problem that she hasn't come across yet. Maybe it is the autom automations searching for survivors. Would they bother writing it on a map? Aren't they like vastly superior to humans in most ways? Why would they need a map? Oh. This one is still legible. Is it? Uh, it's got... I don't think these. that was from an automaton. It has lipstick on it. Something tells me automatons don't wear lipstick. A strange assembly of dates and speeds in meters per hour. Most of them crossed off. They are accompanied by the initials K and A, as well as the Roman numerals I and three I's. They look... Like rough analysis, trying to figure out how to stop a moving object at a specific point. Yeah, these look like uh, the roller coaster, I guess. 35 times 6 equals something. Okay, so we, I guess we're going to have to work out how to run the roller coaster at some point. We're going to have to use the maths around here. Yeah, 1 and 3. Also known as eyes and three eyes. Because it was Roman numerals. If I just said the numbers, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the same, would it? No, I don't do it in English. I just do that when I'm reading when I'm reading it as Roman numerals rather than reading it as a number. Like I'd say IV. Or V. VI. Wow. If we meet Boris, I'm going to be very happy. Because there is definitely a rocket ship here. Uh, we don't really use... I was going to say we don't really use Roman numerals in the UK, but that's a load of shit. Like, every, pretty much every clock in a 50-mile radius has got Roman numerals on it. Hmm. Yeah, I hope it isn't too convoluted, otherwise I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be crying inside today. Okay, I got that. I'm sure I can last another, like, 20 minutes or so. What's, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah. 
Yeah, the Roman numerals I and three eyes. If I said the Roman numerals one and three, it, you'd expect it to be a number one and a number three, not a, not a an actual inscription of a of their three eyes and an eye. At this point, I'm just being pedantic because you're being pedantic for the record. Just putting that out there. Before people think I'm genuinely doing this for a reason. Ooh. What? This? I thought the guy lying down might be important because he's blue, but I don't think he is. But let's go inside this building. Hello, Mr. Top Hat Man. Can you imagine walking through doors and then an automaton taking his hat off to greet you every time? Completely clogged. But technically what? And I've said one and three, I said I and three eyes, you know? Yeah, so one and three is wrong. Yeah, exactly, it's Arab, so it's wrong. You just disproved your own point. It's perfect. Thanks, I don't have to argue it now. Okay, so I can't get that way because it's clogged. Where the hell are we going? There's a teddy bear down there, that's not creepy at all. Ah, oh, there's a doll. Boo. Ah, oh, there's dolls and teddy bears everywhere. What is this? Hell hole. Hmm. Can we? Oh no, we can phase through the staircase. We can't go up said staircase. Um, I haven't found a roller coaster. That's for sure. Maybe we can go through over here. At the back. Contaminated zone. Okay, nope, we don't need to go into, and I quote, the contaminated zone. I have already watched the movie. Aha, uh -huh, what's this? A bar, a metal shank? Excuse me? Who could have done that? So we're going to cut a hole in the fence, and instead of fixing the fence, we're just going to put radioactive signs in front of the fence to stop people going through it. Logic, ladies and gentlemen, logic. Yeah, I, I think they, they should have made things that are interactable have some sort of shine on them, or some sort of, like, when you walk close enough, they fully highlight or something, because when it's like this and you don't have free control over the camera, it can get very um, messy. Like, I'm looking at a huge area here. I wonder if I can use the metal shank on the box. Um, it just, yeah, it just... And sometimes you have to walk really close for the little dot to actually come on. And bear in mind, I'm playing this on the story mode. So in theory, this should be the easiest mode to play this game in, and I still struggle sometimes to actually find things. I don't think the metal shank is the solution here, but I'm going to bloody try it because you never know. Let's try something else. We also have a cog. What could the cog be for, actually, now I think about it? I haven't come across anything that I th would expect to be used. But now I think about it, I haven't come across anything. Where have we been? Okay, we've been over there. That's where all the dolls and the creepy things are. This this video just literally shows me the park. Contaminated zone behind them. Maybe we have to go into the bit that's blocked? No, because it's blocked, so surely we can't go that way. Maybe I can go into the back side of whatever this thing is? What's this? I have no idea what it is. Creepy as all hell, whatever it is, but... Yeah, okay, so can I get into this park thing? I can't combine things. I 
think I might be able to get in here if I follow this round. Can I go in here? Oh, I can, but it hasn't solved me. Okay, so that's literally just the entrance. Okay, it's like a vault door. I think blocked would have been a better term than clogged. It's like rubble has fallen down. Unless I can use the metal shank to dislodge some of the rubble. Metal shank is a weird translation as well. Metal shank. That looks a bunch of Daleks. Exterminate. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go back in here then. Now, what's this over here? Can I interact with this? Okay, uh, let's, let's go back in here, see if I can use the shank on something. I feel like I'm missing part of the park or something. Yeah, like I can look at it, but I can't interact with it. Completely clogged. So it's just blocked, so we can't do anything this way. Wonder. Um, I think there is a hint. Option. Don't actually know. See, I'm on, I'm on Voyage, which is like the... Uh, you play for the story and you want to have additional visual clues. I'm actually having more clues now than I did before. But yeah, tutorials, reminders of objectives. Apparently no hint option. No more than I've already got turned on. Maybe I need to use these somewhere else. Well, I honestly don't know where I would use a cog and a metal shank. Yeah, I'm trying to get there, but I can't get there because the door that you would use to get there is blocked. And I can't walk over here. Unless I can walk over this plank. Which, honestly, I don't see why you couldn't, Kate Walker. You're not bloody huge. Yeah, uh, I thought I'd use that door. Uh, that door there. But that's the one in the back of the shop that's been bolted shut. Which means I need to go through this bit here. But I can't work out how to get over there. Like, it would require me to go... Let's let's work on that angle. Let's see if we can work something out. Metal shank on the boards? I don't th think... don't think I could interact with the boards, but maybe I just didn't get close enough. Let's double check. Yeah, nah. Nope. Oh. Oh, it's another door, guys. Wait, hang on. What? What kind of... M what kind of magic is this? Take a look at this wall, right? It is a wall. It has a fuse box and a boarded up door. And then this door here, which I didn't know existed. Okay, my own fault. Look at this wall. There is no door. There is windows. <laughs> hmm. But okay, that yeah, I just didn't see the blooming door. 
My bad. I'm doing very well today. What is this? I should be able to separate the car from the cart. Okay. That's probably radioactive dust, right? Another rundown automaton. I should be able to tow the crystal by attaching it to Would this Would you winch. paint a fate window on the side of your house? I don't know. Hey, plug in those cables, you... Oh, no, poor, poor thing. <laughs> Sorry. Done with grace, my dear. Done with grace. No ignition controls. I see. The automaton that controlled the tractor has to be connected to this pin, shaped like a Varlberg key, to start it. It's ingenious. But I need an automaton in working order. Great. Oh, well, that's convenient. He has a small key in his hand. Okay, so now if we take the small key back to the box... Well, guys, we're going to get Oscar back. That's the goal of this stream now. I'm not leaving until Oscar's up and running. We shall be reunited once again. Our hero. Our knight in literal armor, because he's made of metal. Better be the same voice actor or I am going to be very upset. Excuse me. Excuse me. Huh? Vorlberg tools. Nothing better for fixing automatons. Why did an automaton have the key to the automaton fixing tools? We got a wrench, we got a key. Vorlberg tools. Nothing better for fixing automatons. Not sure what the wrench was for, but let's go, let's go. Oscar, I'm coming. I gotcha. Hi. <laughs> Tell off. <laughs> What's Kirk, going on? What are you doing here? As you were able to explore the area without being harmed, I authorized the Yukos to go ashore. I have to show you something, Kate Walker. What is it? Is it important? Come on, Miss Kate Walker, come, okay? I have got to ask how you just, like, they just assumed it was safe, but it's like, guys, I'm wearing goggles and I could just be walking around the radioactive zones. Oh my god, look at that guy pulling. Below stinking rotten asphalt is sacred path of the migration. Miss Kate Walker must hurry and quickly bring out all ostriches so you calls can take this route. Listen. I do understand that you want to respect your customs to the letter. But moving your caravan through there is suicide. That avenue is completely contaminated. No blah blah, Miss Kate Walker. It is the will of the spirits. Miss Kate oh, Walker boy. saw what always happens when you call the poor spirits. Oh but boy. Our shaman is stubborn like an old ostrich, Kate Walker. Do you think there may be another route? I don't know. For the moment, I'm concentrating on repairing an automaton to tow the crystal. As soon as I can, I'll try to find another path. Until then, please stay in the safe zones and be careful. Okay? Right. Oscar, I'm coming! It is a bit dumb, isn't it? It's like, oh, by the way, guys, uh, heavy radiation that way. Please don't go that way. We will go that way! 
It's like, no, no, guys, you will die. We will go that way. Sacred path. So... Go on, then. Good luck. Enjoy a slow, painful death. Radiation poisoning is no joke. Radiation poisoning is one of the worst ways to die. It is not good. Your cells literally melt inside of your body. I'm coming for you, Oscar. Let's go. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay, don't do this to me, game. Not right now. We have a mission and we must complete it. <laughs> Such single mindedness must at least get some claps. I, su I can't support stubbornness for the sake of uh... <laughs> but death yes exactly it's like yes but death oh, I can't get the controller to go over there excuse me there we go <laughs> wait you guys the games don't do what because we got the fourth one coming out soon <laughs> I really hope it's better than this. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, I'm trying to enjoy this game because I want to, but I'm only literally I'm doing it for the story. And like at this point, um, the actual game itself is driving me up the wall. Oh, the stairs are trap you. Yeah. Um. Ah. Oh. I gotta plug him in. Oh boy. No, 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 no. <sighs> Nothing. Just please. I swear to God, some of these puzzles. Oh. Oh, never mind. Just, yeah, just don't work at all. There, there we go. Eh. Eh. Right, eh. Okay. It's blocking the opening. Okay, we, we use the wrench. Oh, my. Thank you. We use the wrench. Oh no. I remember these locks. They're used to activate all of Hans's inventions. Oh, now I just have to find the right key. God damn it. God frick it. Why were they you calls running past with a Something bad happened while I was messing around with the automaton. <laughs> I don't know. I assume they're running away from something. Maybe somebody's melted into a pile of Yukol goo. What was that? Roller coaster. Maybe, yeah, maybe they're just playing. The mouse off the screen. No, I'm guessing it's because they're running away from that person. Well, the keys were in here, right? I feel like I'm going to have to go do something else first. Nothing that looks anything like an activation key. Just as I thought. Oh. No activation key. Fucker. Oh, 
Okay, 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 okay. Let's go find out what this uh, sound was. I think it was over here. You know, considering all these U calls haven't run away, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that they were just chasing each other on the beach. Does anyone remember how I got up to that platform with the roller coaster? Because I sure as hell don't. Uh, was it this way? I think it was on top of this building, wasn't it? I think this is where we just heard that noise. Hello? <gasps> dun dun dun. How on earth did that train car get here? Excuse me, I'm jacking it. Ooh. Um That's not right. Impossible. Oh, the metal shank it looked a lot bigger when I picked it up off the ground. Let's use the mouse again, shall we? <laughs> to me, it has something to do with this. Um... the notes and stuff we found. Yeah, we need to actually look at the, the papers and stuff, but uh, I may do that in the next stream because my head is hurting. <laughs> as much as I want to get Oscar up and running. I didn't realize we were going to have a whole extra part to this. We do get a sweet ass Roller coaster ride, but I assume going full is going to make us just do a full circle. Oh my god. We almost got decapitated. I think that's where we're trying to get to. Did you see there was like an interaction point on the side? So we want to get to like 45, I think. This needle must be connected to the mechanism's spring. It's all downhill from here. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, the, the texture on the glasses would make you freaking blind after a while, I'm sure. Let's, uh, let's go back here. Has it saved? When was the last time it saved? Five minutes ago? I think that was before the, like we saw that person come down. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. I am going to. I am going to end early because I am struggling. <laughs> Happens every now and again. Um, I hope you enjoyed Siberia Three. I mean, at least we got somewhere. Most of this stream was me just complaining, so I apologise. Hopefully, um, I'll be in a better mood next week. Ugh. Let's see if the Yukol guy plugged in the cables. Oh, we're gonna go shout at this guy? Yeah, no, Kate, no, 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 Kate, no, 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 Kate. Poo. Poo, poo, poo. Poo, poo. 
No, Kate, no, no, no. Oh, for God's sake, it's my own fault. I'm pressing the wrong button. Again, again, again. No. <laughs> my brain cannot handle this. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just really tired. I'm more so than normal. I haven't even done much today. We just blame Elden Ring? I'm gonna blame Elden Ring. Maybe you used too much. I, I did stream for an extra hour yesterday. That's just screwed me up. That's what it is. <laughs> I I think four is going to be much better than three. Uh, I really do. Comes out in March? It's next month. I, oh god, I gotta complete this game. I think I have a fair old whack left. I don't think we're even halfway yet. Uh, probably the PC version for the new Siberia. Or are we talking about Elden Ring here? Uh, well, not, well, I streamed. Uh, I streamed the PC version when I streamed it yesterday. I may do a random stream tomorrow, like a really low energy stream tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. I need to, uh, I need to pad out my my um, streaming hours. I didn't mean to go in here because I missed some streams and things, and Twitch gets a bit pissy when you don't do it, keep up your average stream times. So uh, me and Trig might play some Elden Ring co-op or something, and I'll probably just do it from the PS5 using the PS5 stream, so it'd be really low quality with no camera or anything. It'd just be my voice and his voice. Could be a laugh. I don't know. We we used to do shit like that all the time when I uh, used to stream with him on the PS4. We used to just be like, we're gonna play. We're just gonna stream on the PS4 now. But I'm a little bit better now. I use you know microphones and things. So I don't know. This guy still hasn't plugged in my damn cables. I want a new U call. You plug in my cables. Nanook metal, not good boiler maker. Okay. Uh, the one that me and Trigger will be playing on will be a different save file. Yeah. It'll be my, my... I have so many characters on Elden Ring, I'm not even joking. I have three on the PC, and I have two on the PS5. I have done the start of that game. Like, so many times. <laughs> yeah, sure, Fedora, I'll, uh... I need some help, I'll let you know. Could be a laugh. Could be a laugh, indeed. It will just be me and Trig talking absolute rubbish for like however long it is. I don't know what time it'll be. It'll probably, I think Trig's working. So it'll be in the evening or like afternoon when he's actually around. And it might only be for a few hours. I don't know. I did not, I have not beat the tree slug. No, I need to go back and do that at some point. But anyway, I am probably going to end the stream here. Uh, my, my apologies for the shorter stream. I'm sure some of you don't mind, but some of you probably do. Uh... The plus side, it makes it much quicker for me to put it on YouTube when it's shorter, because I don't have to wait five hours for it to freaking render. Um, Do I want to raid? Do I want to raid or am I not in the mood to raid? Oh my god, somebody's streaming tarot? I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, You know, in the tutorial zone, there's, you leave and then there's like the fog door there where you can open it with the with the key. Yeah, I went down there. That's where the tree slug is. I did it on stream and it took me an hour and a half to get down there and then I got my ass kicked like over and over and over again. Streaming, what's somebody streaming tarot? Which just blows my mind. I didn't realize you could like, I never really thought about streaming um, tarot. Man, there are some funny stuff in that VOD. My god, the dragon coming down was probably my favourite moment of that entire stream. Oh, shit! <laughs> um, you know what? I don't think I can be asked to raid. I'm, I'm tired. I'm going to go and like, lie down or something. So I am going to relieve you all of your duty here. But either way, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time. Perfect. That was for the YouTube people, by the way. That wasn't for you guys. You guys, you guys just get by.